For as long as I can remember, I've wanted a home movie theater in the backyard. And this year, when we finally finished our deck, I decided it was the perfect year to put in a backyard home theater. But while I was searching online, I couldn't find anything to fit the metal gazebos. So we already had a projector. I just had to order the screen. I found online several options. If you had a wooden gazebo, you could build a box to protect the screen. But there wasn't really much out there for if you had a metal gazebo, which is what we purchased. So I put together this DIY for anyone that has a metal gazebo that wants to learn how to hang a projector screen from it and still have it safe from the elements. The first thing that I purchased was this projector. I got it at Walmart on sale. It was fairly cheap. It does not stream, so you have to hook it up to a DVD player, but luckily we had one around. Now to sit it on, I got these garden shelves from Ikea. They're fairly cheap. I think they're like under 10 bucks each. And if you put a box underneath the projector, it's the perfect height for the projector screen. You do have to bring it in. I haven't figured out how to keep it out here permanently without worrying about rain or weather conditions. So we do just bring it out when we're ready to watch a movie. The next thing that I purchased was a manual pull down projector screen. I figured if I purchased one that was motorized and the elements got to it, it was too big of a purchase to be ruined because I was forgetful one night. One thing to note though is the manual projector screens do not come with anything but wall mounting brackets. So there's nothing really to hang your projector screen onto the metal gazebo. Also when I purchased it, it said it was 22 pounds. It feels more like about 45, 50 pounds. And it was supposed to be 92 inches and it's actually 100 inches. So I didn't really get the dimensions that it listed on the Amazon listing. But I've been able to make do and make it work. So this is what the roof of our steel gazebo looks like. My first thought was to hang it on the bar you see the lights hanging down on, but when the projector actually came, it was more than 22 pounds. And I also wasn't sure how I was gonna get something up underneath that bar that would be able to support the weight of the projector. Then when it actually came, and it was not 92 inches, it was 100 inches, it made the bar not an option. So the next idea was to put it on these brackets in the side corner, right like that. They have them on all the corners and something could be hooked onto it. Now all these metal gazebos are made differently, so you'll have to look at your metal gazebo and see where the best place for it to go would be. But on mine, this is a very sturdy corner that can support the weight. So I went to the hardware store and found a few pieces that I thought maybe I could jimmy rig something to work. And I actually ended up using all of them. So for one side, I used one U-bolt a felt pad and this I just placed in here and that's just so when it's sitting on the metal bracket it doesn't scratch it and then I got two chain links and they unscrew they're kind of like the same you would have for a swing set if you were putting up a swing set and then one of these clamps that just opens and closes like that so you need all of these pieces Per side. These crimp clamps I just hung put on the actual projector itself. Most projectors come with this and come with this piece and it's because they're meant to be put on a wall mount. So this I just clamped on so that it could easily go on and off if there was bad weather I could bring it inside just by unclipping it and I didn't have to undo the whole thing. We'll just put the other one on. There we go. So now it's on and it's ready to go. So now we'll work on the U-bolt. So I've put my felt bracket on and we're just gonna attach these to the corner of the gazebo. So first take the bolt off your U-joint or U-bolt, you should say. 
you might have to measure this angle right here and see the thickness because each bracket is going to be different with each metal gazebo model. So then you just slide the flat part there and the felt there just helps so that you don't scratch anything. And then you put your bolts back on. Now depending on how many chain links you buy, you can have this rest lower. But because of the amount that I bought, I have to put it way up high here. And also the lower you go, the lower your projector screen will be. So the lower you have to put your actual projector, which means you could be having people's heads in the way of the movie. So you have to do this on super tight. You can use a wrench too. I just use my fingers for this example. There. Then you take your chain link and then you might have to loosen your U bolt a bit just to get it in. And you just put it around like that and close it up. And then re-tighten your U-bolt. You want to make sure it's tight enough that it's not going to slide at all. There we go. And then you're going to repeat this exact same step on the other side, on the other bracket. So this next part you're going to need to get yourself a helper. I've got my son here and he's going to help me hang the screen up. Once you have put the movie screen up, this is what it'll look like on both sides. You may have to add or remove chain links to make it longer, depending on what type of metal gazebo you have. 